Hey what's up guys welcome to a brand new video on our channel today I'll be doing a full tutorial on a level up system so we're gonna be doing EXP max EXP levels we're gonna be doing all of this in a data store and I'm gonna give you a free effect for level up that you can use so make sure to join the discord down below I'll be linking all of these models in my discord so make sure to join that also make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on because I will be doing more giveaways from now on and make sure to stay tuned because I will be releasing more packs uh, so yeah let's get right into it okay so first of all you guys want to get a new base plate and then you want to insert everything i got in the discord so again make sure to join the discord down below and what you're going to do is you're going to go file publish to roblox and you're going to publish it under any name you can do anything uh, because we're going to be enabling data stores so we can save levels uh, so we're going to publish this place it's going to take us there okay there we go now what you want to do is you want to go to game settings you want to go to security and you want to enable HTTP requests and enable studio access to API services, these two, okay? You're going to hit save. And if you want to do the avatars, so you can do R6, R15, it really doesn't matter. The system works for both. But uh, we're going to choose R15 for the tutorial. Uh, security, we already done this. And yeah, so I'm going to be going over two things. So first of all, I'm going to be going over the data store script and what's in it. And then we're going to be uh, setting up the EXP bar, the level and everything. So in the data store script, okay, so we're referencing here the data store service. So what essentially data store is, is basically if we get EXP, for example, and we leave the game, after we join back, we will have the same amount of EXP, so levels, everything like that saves. And it's very important because if you want to progress in the game and you like cleave and you get back, you'll be able to have your levels and stuff. Okay, so here we're referencing the data store server, so it's stats, and then we're making a new folder which is going to be called leader stats, and this is where all of our stuff is going to be stored. So we're going to be storing the EXP, max EXP level and everything else. Uh, so here we put uh, stats as a new folder, that's where all of these values will be stored. Then we will make an instance that int value, so a new int value where our exp will be stored and our max exp. This will be used to detect if uh, we reach the threshold, so if this reaches max exp, it levels us up. And here we're just basically using a get async command uh, to basically just save these values, so upon removal, uh, when we disconnect it will basically save exp max exp and level uh, so if we go ahead and test that out in a game so if we go ahead and press here and we go ahead and go into stats max exp see that's 100 level 0 and exp is normal so how do we make a level up system and how do we make all of this work together so i'm going to show you right now so first what we're going to do is we're going to have to detect when we get exp and when the exp reaches the max exp threshold okay so we're going to start off by going to the start character scripts i'm going to be making new local script and we're going to name it exp detect okay once that is done we're going to first reference the run service so we're going to reference uh local rs equals to game get service run service okay we're going to do rs.rb connect function boom okay so we have to first now reference the ui so uh and also first of all we have to reference the uh stats we have so we're gonna do so we're gonna open up the script and we're gonna see so it's located in a folder named stats that's in uh the player so we're gonna do local player equals to game dot player dot local player and we're gonna do uh if player dot uh time for child stats dot exp dot value is equal to or more okay it's like this my bad is more or equal to okay so we're gonna copy and paste this again uh max exp so that's our second step so if the exp is more or equal to the max exp that value then okay so we're gonna have to make a debounce i already said in my previous videos what a debounce is so basically we're gonna do local debounce equals to false so this is basically uh, that this doesn't fire off multiple times but just once so we're gonna do if debounce equals true then return and uh, 
Uh, and then we're gonna do debounce equals true, wait one second, debounce equals to false. And we're gonna make a new remote event inside of replicated storage. So we're gonna name it RE, and I'm gonna do game.replicatedStorage.re fire server. Boom, and we're gonna make a new script inside of the server script service. We're gonna name it uh, level up. Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, game.replicatedStorage.re uh, that on server event connect function player okay so we're gonna be referencing the player so we can get him to level up okay so first thing we have to do is we're gonna go player dot stats yeah player dot stats dot exp dot value equals to zero okay so the exp is reset back to zero next thing we have to do is player that stats that e, uh, that max exp so max exp so every time we level up we have to make the threshold a little bit bigger so it's harder to level up each time we're gonna do copy this again and we're gonna do so each level we're gonna get plus 15 okay so it will take 15 more exp points to level up okay so that is done and then we're gonna do player that stats that level that value equals to the value plus one there we go so now if exp reaches the max exp threshold uh which is which we reference right here it's gonna fire off a remote event and once the remote event is fired off it will basically just say okay so the exp is now zero max exp is plus 15 so it's harder to level up each time as the new level is level one so now if we go ahead and make a part for example right here we're gonna do like this and we're gonna create a script inside it and we're gonna say script.parent.touch connect function boom we're gonna connect the function hit okay so if hit dot parent find first child player uh find, sorry find first child humanoid then okay so we're gonna do local character equals to uh, hit the parent fire first child humanoid so if if we touch the part and it hits a humanoid it's gonna say okay that's a humanoid so we're gonna do that parent so we reference the character and then we're gonna do local player equals to uh, game get service players get player from character and we're gonna do character so we're basically just getting uh, what the player is so uh, we're just referencing the get player from character function and once we fire that off we'll figure out what the player is and then we can do player dot stats dot exp dot value equals to same thing again let's say plus five okay so now if we go ahead and play and we actually get in the game Okay, so see now if we actually go ahead and get into the game and we basically go ahead and go into the player, the stats. So we're gonna see we're on AXP 0, level 0, max AXP 100. If we go ahead and step on a part, we're gonna get EXP. Okay, boom. We get a little bit more, boom, we leveled up. So we're level 1. And now the max AXP threshold has been increased. So now if we go ahead and get back to XP, oops, we go boom, boom, boom. We just level up, level up, let's get EXP from this part. And we should be level 3 now, and the max EXP threshold has been increased to 145. Okay, that is cool and all, but we want some effects. We want this bar to work down here, so we want it to update constantly. And we want a uh, effect, so uh, every time we level up, something happens, like some particles. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, the oh why did I name this exp detect uh, starter here scripts and we're gonna do okay so oops here we're gonna say uh, exp detect and right here we're gonna put oops uh, we're gonna put uh, 
script inside of this, so we're gonna do local script and we're gonna reference the run service again. So local rs equals to game get service run service. Okay. So rs rb connect function. Okay. So we're here again just referencing the heartbeat service, which is like every tick, so every Roblox tick it updates. And I'm gonna show you guys what to put in here so we can get this uh, UI right here working. So it's gonna showcase the level and everything. So right here, I think I wrote the script down. Okay, so right here in the EXP, so RS is run service and we're gonna reference the player. So uh, we're gonna just put this here because this is stats. So script.parent.txt equals to level is and then we're gonna wait for the child stats that level that value so basically it will constantly update and say okay so this is the current level this is the current level and so on so basically uh, the next thing that we have to do is have to update this bar right here I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second so we're gonna be updating this bar every second so each time you get exp the bar moves up and when it moves to the top you basically level up Okay, so here's the line you guys are gonna write and actually if you guys can't catch up with anything I'm doing just pause the video and take screenshots or just write it down because I won't give, be giving away all of this in the discord I will be giving away just the outline so just the UI and just the level up effects uh, So make sure to just write everything down and do as I do so we're here referencing the exp bar which is right here and we're referencing the bar inside of it so we're gonna do that size equals to we're just gonna put here so it's gonna be equal to the size of our exp value then it's gonna be divided by the max exp value and it's gonna constantly update so if we go and press play right now and right now see that look so it says level zero this is studio so the stats don't save properly uh, but if we go ahead and put uh, so if we go ahead and get this what is this boom boom so we're getting more exp and see that level one go ahead and go here level two so uh, that's one thing and if you guys want this text to show something also what we can do is we can go into the uh, this text label and we can make a new script so I'm gonna do local rs equals to game get service run service I'm gonna reference it again, rs.rb connect function. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do uh, script.parent.text equals to, and I'm gonna do, we're gonna reference the player here first, so local player equals to game.players.local player, I'm gonna do player.stats2, sorry, stats.exp.value. And then we're gonna do two dots, okay, like this. Then we're gonna do a cross, like that. We're gonna put two dots again, and we're gonna do player.stats.max.exp.value. Boom. So right now, what it should do is it should tell us, so I'm gonna do two spaces right here. So once we get in the game, it should tell us, see, zero out of 100. If you go boom, that's 50 out of 100 then goes up and boom so now it's 115 and we're level one if you go ahead and put more of it just level up even more see constantly we're rising the max exp value and we're getting new levels and that basically works like until infinity now the reason this doesn't save for some reason is because we're in studio and studio can sometimes be glitchy and buggy uh and the next thing i want to show you guys is the how to add this effect so we you're gonna get this effect in our discord server and once you join you can download uh, basically this whole file except the scripts uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting into the level up script right here okay so now we're gonna be adding the particles that we talked about so we're gonna go ahead and do local effect equals to game.replicated stories that level up clone we're gonna make sure, okay, now we're gonna do, okay, effect.parent equals to workspace and effect.cframe equals to player.character.humanoid.root.part.cframe. Let's make sure this is anchored. Okay, it is, and my collide is off. And we're gonna do, uh, so, uh, we're gonna do effect.parent 
particles dot enable equals to true so this will enable only the one particle and then we have to enable all of the other rest ones so we're gonna do for i v in pairs effect dot particle particle attachment get children oops get children do okay so it's gonna get all the children and then we're gonna do b dot enable equals to true okay and then we're gonna do uh we're gonna wait like four seconds and then we're gonna do all of this again but it's gonna say false so now it should turn off after four seconds so once we level up there should be like particle effects and it will turn off after four seconds so let's see boom and if we actually wanna okay so this is yeah that turns off after four seconds uh, but we want to get that to be on the player, so we're gonna do uh, so we're gonna unanchor it. So we're gonna do effect dot anchored equals to false. We're gonna do local wealth equals to instance dot new wealth constraint. I'm gonna do wealth dot parent equals to gonna do human root part player dot character dot human knowing root part. And we're gonna do wealth.part zero equals to. So we're gonna do the same. And then we're gonna do wealth.part one equals to. Uh, we're gonna do the effect. Okay. We're gonna make game.debris add item. Item uh, wealth. We're gonna do after four seconds. And we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste this down here. So we're gonna say. Uh, I'm just gonna say okay, effect and that's like 1.2 seconds, let's say. So now, if we move the level up effect, should go with us. So we go boom, see how it go, we leveled up, and it has that effect, and then it disappears. You can now modify the effect, like you can put the we can maybe go ahead and do like uh, so we're gonna do the particles, we can do like the rate is at 800. And then we can what we can do we can do after like 2.3 seconds so it's shorter and if we go ahead and press play again okay see because sometimes it does save in studio and sometimes it doesn't in the actual game it will work but in studio sometimes studio doesn't uh, interpret the signals pro uh, properly and then it doesn't save but in real game it actually works like as you can see right now it's random in studio so if we go ahead and go now boom and after two seconds the particles disappear and you've leveled up we go ahead and go boom again there we go okay see that so as we keep leveling up you're gonna see we're gonna have more of these effects come up and pop up so boom all of them are enabling and popping up and that's that's basically it that's basically how you create a simple level up system in roblox studio uh, if you guys want to get something more advanced, I'm probably going to be making another tutorial soon on that. But on the other hand, this is basically a simple system you can implement in any game. Uh, you can basically, as I said, call this EXP value by just doing so. You're going to get the player that you want to give it to, and then you're just going to do stats.exp value is equal to player.stats.exp value plus whatever EXP you want. So you can maybe put like, if we go ahead and copy this. And then we go ahead and uh, local exp value equals to 15. And if we go exp value, now every time we will get 15 exp points every time we step on here. So, so do boom, boom. So we're not getting too much exp and stuff like that. So we're basically just leveling up instantly because we have a lot, but it's expanding every time. So it's going to get significantly harder every time to just level up. But yeah, that's basically it. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a, a like and subscribe so I can be making more content like this. We're close to 3K subscribers. And on 3K, I'm gonna be doing another giveaway. So make sure to like and drop a comment. What was your favorite part of the video? And I guess I'll see you guys later.